mean, the dirty secrets are really the borrowers are plain vanilla, very high FICO, lots of down payment for the last five or six years, great income, almost don't need loans. Underwriting guidelines have not changed in 75 years. 68% of all searches, I mean, this is brand new to us, right? All searches begin on mobile. Think yep. about that. There wasn't even a mobile app four years ago. So now what you've got are buyers who are, not only are they online, they are actually <laughs> searching on mobile, then they go online, and then they go back to the realtor to look at a home or to see that, but they do a lot of searching and information before. 92% of all the loans are sold to the government. Home prices are still below 2006 levels. No doubt. And yep. you still, out here, you're probably just now beginning to see home price appreciation, and it's by market. It's by actually neighborhood, yep. which, which is interesting. Yeah, in fact, we just did a, uh, an analysis on a property, and it was right at 2004 levels. That's exactly where it was. It was today. It was where it was sold. Where it was bought in 04 is where it's being sold today. So if you think about it, for us, I mean, what my goal for you as a consumer or as a home buyer is: look, I think the thing that was wrong with home home buyers is they don't see that this is very cyclical, right? It, it feels like home prices have always gone up, and they do. They just go through their cycles. So the rules are: first, buy low, sell high. Pick where know where you are in the cycle. And the second is you have to plan to live through the cycle. We call that in underwriting reserves. Right. right? Yeah. <laughs> You've got to have some way of sustaining yourself for the hiccup. What are the four major causes of default? Right. They haven't changed. It's overextension of credit. It is a medical issue. Uh, either And if you check default and delinquencies, you'll see that in almost everything. It's sometimes a, a divorce or job loss obviously right and hopefully those don't the, the trifecta is they generally all occur at once yeah, yeah no uh, doubt <laughs> and 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 i think this time what we found out is how important home prices are so you have to know those things so what can we do right what can skyline do well as a nationwide lender first we have to be able to provide all three products fannie mae freddie mac because there are consumers that do get that but what's maybe more important is how do we build the next generation product. I've spent my entire life trying to figure out the rule. How do you change the underwriting rule to fit the borrower, not the other way around? So the first thing you have to do is you've got to risk-based price the loan. So if you if you were at home do you, and you got a napkin or a sheet of paper, draw a graph, right, and just plot the x and y axis. And on one side, plot FICO scores, and on the bottom side go ahead and plot LT, loan to value. And if you have a 600 FICO at the bottom and an 800 uh, on, on one axis, and you have a 60 LTV and a 100 LTV on the other axis, in between that grid are a bunch of prices. And what I've built over time is how do you price that risk? Because your two best predictors are your FICO score and your loan to value. One gives you severity of loss, the other gives you really delinquency and frequency of default. Then we know the four or five major causes. Try to build into your guidelines rules that then fit these, these borrowers. So I would have, so in our product, we'll create fixed rates and arms, uh, one, three, five, and seven year loans. And probably the biggest challenge is if fixed rates go up, if interest rates go up, we'll have to figure out how do we qualify you at a lower start rate. Well, right. That's where arms become more popular. And arms are the 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 customer exchanges risk because most people believe that a thirty year fixed rate is the best product for you. But you know, the reality is that here in California, we see it all the time. Even if you keep your home thirty years, you usually don't keep your mortgage thirty years. You may have thirty loans. Yeah. <laughs> thirty one year loans. Yeah. Right. And I think what happens is real life sets in. So we create products that are possibly portable. We, we create products that are expandable. Uh, we, one of the, the loans that gets a tremendous about, amount of uh, disdain by the banks today is a HELOC, a home, a home loan line. line of credit. Well, yeah, if you put a HELOC behind a first and it might have gone to 100% loan to value and your house went down and then the bank pulls the HELOC, it's probably not a very good instrument. But at the end of the day, it's probably the best instrument 
for the way a consumer rolls today because they do borrow a lot. You do have a lot of life events that you need money for. And your home is really the only financial asset that you can ping. It's not an ATM, but it sort of is a bank. And for the consumer, it is the best bank that we need to invest in. So we need to put more people into homes. This is clearly the time to do it. Now, what can I do to create a guideline or rule? Well, I'm going to have, we've got probably 60% of America affected uh, by something that happened between 2008 and today. That's right. And if you just tuned in, we're here with Bill Dow, CEO of Skyline Home Loans, our new home for uh, Don, Don and Gino and the rest of our great team here uh, right off Attorney Road. And we're really excited to have Bill here. And he's sharing with you how we're going to work together to help get you in back into the dream of home ownership. And Bill's got some very creative ways to do that. We're very excited about that. So, Bill, what I like is that you're helping those. There's a lot of us that like you said, couldn't use our income for one reason or another, even though we have it. We can show it with bank statements. We can show we bring in the income. But after certain expenses or the way the income is moved, we can't get into a home. Like, it'd be hard for me to even qualify for my own home because I'm on commission income and a lot of you out there are on commission income or some sort of sales. And or I had a one time event that just affected me and therefore I can't get back. I'm over, I think it's over penalization. So you're going to help us get back into the market earlier? Yeah, you have to then build your... So the, the trade-off to a consumer is these, these rates aren't probably going to be at three, right? They, they probably will be risk-based price based upon the severity of the problem. But at the end of the day, you, to, you can do a five to five and a half percent loan that fits these customers and allows them to get on and it specifically speaks to their problem. So, the, so what we do is we build income rules that are more flexible but they, and they count the way you currently roll and the way you earn your income. We then take the one-time event and shorten it because you have to do that in order to, you fix the problem. Did, is it a one-time problem? To the extent that it was a housing event, right, and it didn't have some other event, then it's, it's easier for us to fix. And then I think the third and probably the third rail is you can't buy houses putting 30% down. That's right. It's just not, not possible. In California, not not sure. possible. Yeah. Well, it's not really. In California, there's a lot more equity. But at the end of the day, you know, and you can't just use FHA or VA loans. I mean, FHA and VA loans have been low down payment, no down payment for 60 years. That's right. So I think we've got enough product experience to roll out products that provide solutions for people to be able